I showed you this on one of my other, either a TikTok or a YouTube short, but there's a unit that we're gonna bring down. We're gonna use that same base because it's angle iron and it's really strong. I'm just gonna uh, um, alter it a little so that the new condenser fits. Here is our condenser. It's a little baby. And got pretty coils right up there. Supply plenum lined. I always like my supply plenums lined because they look better on the outside. I hate putting bubble wrap or anything else on the outside. I think it looks ugly. And then if it's not you know, installed correctly, it, it falls off. I've seen it many, many times. So here we are in the attic. This is what I did previously. That return was connected right to the bottom of the furnace. I went ahead and installed a larger return duct. I think it's an 18. Today I'm here to replace the slab evaporator coil and that supply plenum. I did future proof this by putting this drain pan. It was missing. That was one of the corrections that I made. The line set which runs here, it goes onto the roof. That's where the condenser is at. I'm going to replace it because there's no sense in keeping this short piece of copper. I'm also going to properly support the furnace and I'm going to do something here with the gas. The vent pipe used to run across this way and then up through that vent pipe that you see over there. But I put a, a new roof check right there. Now to um, remove the refrigerant from the condenser, I'm going to take, take it apart in pieces it's just so I can start working on the platform getting it ready for the new condenser. Tomorrow I'll be here with a material lift to jack up the new condenser. See you then. I'm gonna do what Zach Ciora did on his video on Facebook. Look Zach. Ah, uh, it was just a bezel. <laughs> here we go. This is very steady. Very strong curb, so we're gonna keep that. I'm just gonna put some treated lumber or some angle iron, I haven't decided yet, in between to hold our new unit. And the copper comes out of there. This electrical I'm gonna have to replace because it's uh, it's not the correct gauge. And then uh, that low voltage wiring was really old and brittle, so it's no good. I'm gonna go in the attic and get rid of that evaporator coil and supply to them. All right, so I got rid of the line set. I disconnected the vent pipe so it won't break as I was disconnecting the evaporator coil with the transition and the supply plenum. So now I'm gonna have to level this furnace because the way that it's suspended right now is not the best way. So I'll probably bring some L metal or I'll probably get some furnace stands. I haven't decided yet. This is a like a platform built. And there's the insulation underneath. All that duct back there, I'm thinking that I'm probably gonna replace because it's in pretty bad shape. It's patched up a little bit, but I believe there was a complaint about not having enough air to that one room over there. So I'm hoping that just by increasing this, the main trunk, which is that one right there. Hoping that by increasing that one, it should give us enough air to the one bedroom that's over there. But yeah, that's where I'm at. To be continued. All right, I think that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna probably put sheet metal on top just to uh, help it resist the weather even more. This piece of sheet metal was in my truck <laughs> for a little bit, so that's why it has a, a few smudges here, but it's not gonna matter. It's gonna turn opaque once it gets weathered. And it looks pretty now and I can set my condenser in place. All right, so now I'm gonna get ready to install these furnace stands. These are eight inch furnace stands because I need to raise that furnace just a little bit higher in order for the supply plenum to, to clear one of the elbows for some supply that's up there. Okay, so there's 
and put on my mask so you can hear me. There's my furnace stands. I put these ISO pads, put three of them. And I'm getting this all cleared away. I had to actually move the drain pan out of the way because I'm getting ready to replace that 12 with the 14. And that's gonna connect on the back of the supply plenum. And then these were connected on the cap, but now I'm gonna connect them in the front so I'll get equal pressure. And look at that, it matches, matches the roof. Everything is gray. <laughs> How did I get it up there, you ask? With this material lift. All right, so I just ran my copper. And there's my coil suspended, sealed with a kiss. <laughs> Okay, I think that's where the furnace is gonna stay. So now I have to measure to see how long I can make that supply plenum. Right now, I have to start um, the vacuum. There's my vacuum over there. I got that, um, some people ask me what that stuff is called. It's just, uh, this is what it looks like. Airx E-Flex guard. And it just protects the pipe insulation other accessories that you can get with it. I'm gonna wrap this pipe with that. Then I'm gonna put a strap like right here. I'll probably put some roof cement under this just so it doesn't slide around. So I only remove the one core for this one. But that still is good enough to speed that up. Plus it's a really short line set. It's maybe, uh, I wouldn't say not more than 12 feet. That was quick. I haven't even finished insulating this yet. Upper is done. There's our filter dryer. Now um, I just put the drain pan on and now I'm gonna get started on the drains. I'm actually gonna use a pump again right here because I'm gonna pump to the existing drain which is over there. And um, it runs underneath the house and out to the side but it's a little bold um, because of the framing doesn't allow, the floor joist doesn't allow for it to go you know either level or pitch down so what I'm gonna do is um, with the pump it'll just be able to push it out all the way out especially because it's gonna have so much vertical on it it's gonna have like 10 feet of vertical usual I finish at night <laughs> so I don't know how much you're gonna be able to see from here but that's it final product strap to the pad also the pad Right, I'm out of here.